welcome back to another episode of Drinking Wild Black. Got a review today. This is coming from Burlington, Vermont. This is a uh, zero gravity. Um, this is their bottle condition saison called Après Vous. Forgot what that means in French. Um, it's bottle condition and age in Caledonia spirits, Tomcat gin barrels, 7.5%. And uh, this is looking interesting. So I have this joint almost three years now. I went to Vermont about yeah about three years ago um me and some friends of mine and this is one of the brews i bought back i've been having it in my fridge for all this time um and the bottle work excuse me the artwork on the bottle itself is very simplistic you got i don't know what this is looks like some flowers looks like um very simplistic flowers and floral stuff going on here and it's just kind of right to the point green label real pretty but simplistic and it draws me in Kind of like a Belgian beer, just a simplistic label. Not much going on, but it'll draw me in because beneath that should be something good. So let's see what's going on here. And again, this is a bottle condition saison. I don't know if it's a uh, Belgian, regular, traditional French or whatever. And I'm going to go with it's probably not a Belgian, considering it was aged in Tomcat gin barrels or whatever. So let's see. And I got the fancy glass just for it. Super fancy glass. Oh my God, man, that's pouring like a beautiful, beautiful Belgian. Look at that golden straw color. You can see right through there, the clarity on there is ridiculous. The head poured, uh, not much head in there. It's, it dissipated very, very fast. It was a nice, nice little foamy head on there. Okay, stayed up a little bit more. Condensed, compact, with nice bubbles on there, but it's probably going to dissipate real fast based on what it did earlier and what I'm seeing now. Um, let me see what I get on the aroma. Again, this is definitely uh, crystal clear pretty much. You can see right through it. I can see my finger through there besides the chill haze. And I'm looking at the, the bubbles rising up from the bottle conditioning of it itself. And this has been sitting around for almost three years, so this is probably good as hell. All right, let me see. I'm get on the nose. Okay, I'm getting floral essences. I'm getting some gin. I'm getting some sweetness, like some sort of fruit. Uh, kind of smells like honey, like this is a mead or something. Yeah, that's nice. That aroma is nice, kind of candied. Definitely a whole lot of floral essence, man. This a very nice nose here. I'm getting honey. I'm getting light candy. I'm getting flowers. I'm getting just a lot going on in that nose. With that alone, I got to get into this beer. Let's, let's get to it. Cheers, y'all. Okay, up front, delicate, light, floral, um, and I'm getting that gin follow behind it. I don't necessarily know what gin tastes like because I don't drink it much, but it stands out in here. It has that, whatever that taste of gin is. Can't describe it. I can't remember what it is. It might be juniper or something that's involved in it. Don't remember. Either way, um... I'm getting all that gin barrel on here. The carbonation on here is perfect. And this thing is smooth as hell. Very light mouthfeel. Very light body. Drinks like a, sh a champagne, but not as carbonated. Perfectly balanced like it is. Kind of a Belgian Saison-ish. Um... I'm getting some oak in there, but that's again gin barrel. So it gives it a nice mouthfeel, like kind of a pucker, like it's some tannins and stuff going on. Again, that's from the gin barrel. Um, this thing is unique. It's unique as hell. Yeah, that gin dominates. But it's not an overpowering dominating, but you know it's there. This drinks like it's like a three or four percent. That's seven and a half. Don't feel it. Don't taste it. I'm getting a little bit of sweetness and candiness going on on the back end. Um, more of that floral essence. I really want to know what 
is involved in making gin barrels. I got to figure that out. I'm going to have to look that up and see what it is or what's involved in making gin is what I should say. Um, and see what notes you get out of gin because I don't drink gin at all. Never have, never will. I've tasted it once or twice. And I had one or two from a real good friend of mine, like a brother. It's different. That's all I can say is different. Now, if you appreciate gin and you like gin, it's for you. Gin is not really for me, but I can appreciate that it's okay, depending on what it is, who, what brand it is, etc. But this beer, man, this is very complex. It's really like drinking a, a Belgian, but it's not a Belgian. It's not Belgian yeast involved, and I can tell based upon the characteristics and the, um, excuse me, the notes I'm getting out of here. I'm going with this is more of a French sort of Saison, just a traditional Saison that's been brewed. Um, and it shows up through and through. Let me get one more set just for the roll, right? Okay. This is something you can sit on for years in your basement. Keep it nice and cool. This has been in my fridge for the entire time that I've had it. Like I said, almost three years now. And it drinks so good. It really does. It just has a nice mouthfeel to it. It's light. This is perfect for a spring, summer night. And it's fall right now. Obviously, as you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie. Winter's around the corner, which I don't want to think about. But I could drink this all year round. But it makes me think of spring. makes me think of summer. And it just, it's a very, very good beer. Thumbs up. Definitely thumbs up, man. If you have not had this beer, I highly recommend you get it. Um, they probably release this every year. It didn't seem like it was something that was a limited edition. And it doesn't appear to be. It looks like it's something they probably drop every year and people come for it. This is that beer. Like, I got a few more bottles of brews from them. Uh, this is just the first one I figured I'd open up. And didn't even realize it was aged in a gin barrel. I just grabbed it because I was like, oh, yeah, it's a Saison. I like Saisons. Let me grab that. And definitely very very and pleasantly surprised so <clears throat> excuse me again thumbs up on this man get your hands on it if you have not had it i highly recommend you get it if you guys are new to my channel make sure you like share subscribe leave some feedback in the comments as always cheers to everybody out there drinking good beer until the next time i see you stay safe be healthy peace